friends, it's The Stitches. Today we're going to talk more about sustainability, but in a bit more of a theoretical way, I guess. This is one of those topics within sustainability that a lot of people have a lot of very wildly different opinions on, so we're gonna discuss them. So is thrifting, going to a physical thrift store and buying items with money that are secondhand, is that actually good for the environment? Is this actually helping us? Is this truly the most ethical choice? We hear about thrifting over and over again in the sustainable fashion community and especially the sustainable alternative fashion community. There is overwhelmingly strong support for going to physical thrift stores and buying clothes secondhand. But what if I told you that that wasn't completely free of ethical dilemma? Two of the biggest thrift stores in the United States are Salvation Army and Goodwill. The Salvation Army is known for donating money to anti-LGBT lobbyists. In fact, they were caught using their own profits to fund anti-marriage equality protests. On top of that, multiple trans youth have died as a result of being denied proper shelter in Salvation Army shelters. And buying clothing in their thrift stores, unfortunately, funds this. Goodwill is known for hiring disabled workers and giving job training and job opportunity to disabled workers. But at the same time, they've been caught multiple times paying those dis disabled workers less than the minimum wage. Like, way less. There have also been several employees who have died as a result of improper job training. Overall, they're a pretty shady company. You could just tell people to avoid the bigger chain stores and opt for locally owned stores, which is advice that I've given multiple times before. But some people can't avoid the bigger chain stores. For some people, Goodwill and Salvation Army are the only stores in their town that sell secondhand clothing. And even if you do have those magical smaller stores, can you really say that those stores are also aren't using their profits to, say, fund corrupt political campaigns? There's no way to know for sure. Most small thrift stores are connected to charities and local church organizations. So any sales are technically considered donations, meaning that those profits are untaxed and largely untraced. Can you really trust that you know where your money is going? Now the obvious upside is that you keep unused clothing out of landfill and that is a major plus, don't get me wrong. At least the stuff that gets bought anyway. Because anything that doesn't sell within a few months usually gets sent to the landfill. And also anything that the store receives as donations and doesn't think that they can sell will also be sent to a landfill preemptively. But the good news is that the more people flock to thrift stores and the more people shop secondhand, the more demand people have for secondhand clothing, the less clothing stores will send to landfill. So that's the silver lining there, I guess. It's a tough situation because for some people, places like Goodwill are the only stores in their area that carry something that isn't fast fashion. Even if it isn't the most sustainable option for some, it can be the most sustainable option for others. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as perfection in the sustainability game. Is it not most important for people to do as much as they can if they can't be perfect? Overall, I consider thrifting to be a neutral option. It does harm, but it also does a lot of good. The most sustainable clothing you can wear is the clothing that you already own. After that, secondhand clothing, and after that, 
new clothing. If you want to limit the damage that your purchases do to the environment, but you can't necessarily get around purchasing from unsustainable sources, then just do everything you can to overall buy less. Limit yourself to what you really need, those core pieces that define your style, and avoid impulse buys. If you're buying something, really analyze whether or not you think it will actually work with the existing wardrobe that you have already. Are you buying this because you think it will create some new outfits with pieces that you already have? Or are you just buying something for the sake of shopping? So that's all for today's video. I know it was much more questions than answers, but I think the key really is to just buy less, to learn to be satisfied with what you have already or learn what you need to make what you have more fulfilling for you. And I hope everybody has a good day and I will see you all next time. Bye!